The Indian Union budget is about to be announced in July and here are some budget expectations that Jeffries is expecting. Well, the budget is a very tight rope for the government because they have to keep everybody happy, be it the social spending, be it the capex outflow, outflow as well as things like um, keeping the fiscal deficit intact. But the government can please everyone with higher capex and social because this time the government has had a good inflow of income tax as well as a good RBI dividend which the government has um, right now on its cards. Also, they should bring positive for several domestic sectors, um, but IT and pharma are the two sectors that can lag some triggers here. But um, considering what will be the fiscal outlook going forward as per Jeffries, well, they're saying that the fiscal deficit target is expected to be around 5% for FY25. The buoyant collections may lead to some kind of income tax cuts and sectors like discretionary, telecom, retail will set to benefit from the kind of reforms that will be announced in the union budget uh, 2024. Now, in terms of what kind of stocks could benefit from the sectors uh, that we just spoke about, well, in terms of consumer discretionary space, there are stocks like Jubilant Foodworks, Deviani International, Zumato, Naika, and Hunasa, which could benefit. Uh, from the telecom specter, uh, sector, there is Bharti Airtel, which is the biggest player in the telecom space as we speak, could benefit uh, from the schemes that government will announce. In terms of retailers, Trent, um, RIL, Passenger vehicles in Maruti Suzuki could benefit. And in the consumption space, we have stocks like Wegard, Crompton, Havels that could benefit as per Jeffries. Now, um, what they're saying in terms of housing and finance is that uh, government is likely to bring interest subsidy for urban housing. Now, this could uh, lead to reduction in borrowing target. And this is positive for a lot of developers as well as NBFCs, which provide loan for particular uh, urban housing companies. Now, in terms in terms of um, what stocks could benefit from this, well, first of all, uh, Avas Financing could benefit from this, Home First Finance could benefit, Lodha could benefit, and Centec Realty also could benefit as per the Jeffries report. Moving on to CAPEX and welfare, uh, well, what Jeffries is saying is that they expect 20% growth benefiting to companies like LNT um, in terms of the CAPEX outlay that the government announces. And also the health insurance space will expand and likely to include all senior citizens in the entire health insurance space. Now, in terms of rural infra and welfare schemes, we are expecting a boost there, um, which will overall aid the rural consumption and will benefit the FMCG companies. So stocks that could likely benefit from such policies are TVS Motors, Hero Motor Corp, M&M and HUL. And also they're expecting that tobacco taxation changes will be there anywhere between uh, more than 5 to 7 percent. And this could be a positive for ITC as it will aid the volume growth of its cigarette business. Well, what do you think are, um, are the budget expectations from your end? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned to NDTV Profit.